Okay, so looking at the color wheel, primaries again are red, yellow, blue. Those are pretty easy to just use the, let's just put a shape on here. Those are pretty easy to use the colors that are available in your basic palette. So red, yellow, blue, those are good. Um, orange, green, and purple are the secondary colors. And those ones probably are going to be okay too. Purple, orange, the green is maybe just a little bit neon. Let's go ahead and find a better green that I can use on my color wheel. So I don't really like that one, so I'm going to click on custom. And I can make it, if I go all the way over here, that's still a little bit neon. I could take it down a little bit towards more of the gray. Um, I also could make it a little bit more blue-green. I want it to be kind of right in the middle, though. I don't want it to be too yellow. I don't want it to be too green. So something kind of right in between and I can tone it down just a little bit. The other way that I can find a good color, that's still maybe just a little bit brighter than I would like. So I can open a new tab and I can do the HTML color code. Picking that website. I can use the slider to find a nice in-between green. That looks pretty good. And Okay, so you can see how over on the left it's more white, on the right it's more green, and then I can kind of go down to where it's just a little bit more gray, so it's got, it's just a little bit toned down. So I like that green better, looking at this little sample over here on the right, and finding my hexadecimal code, I'm going to copy it, and let's see if it'll just let me paste it in. Okay, so clicking on the paint bucket again gonna go to custom let's see if I can paste it hey sweet so let's see if that will change it I'm gonna double check that oh it did not so just want one okay there we go did you see how the little circle moved I know it's a little bit hard to tell but here's how I could tell that it didn't change when I clicked on the paint bucket I still only had that one color now I've got my slightly darker green that I like better. So now I can use this shape that I've got the good green and look at this. That's pretty darn close. Um, I don't need to match it exactly to this color wheel, but that might be a good tool to help you figure out exactly which colors you're looking for. Now I can use this green when I design my color wheel over on this page. Just want to continue this process for any other colors that um, I need to mix. So all the tertiaries, red, purple, blue, purple, blue, green, yellow, green, yellow, orange, red, orange, those are all going to need to be custom colors, not just picked off of the palette that's the basic one in Google Slides.